everyone in this video we're going to talk about deploying a react vite application to a vps so in another video we talked about deploying nextjs to a vps and nextjs is a full stack app so you have both a client side as well as a server side but a react vite app doesn't typically have a server side so it's typically only front end and you may think oh, i need to combine it with some back end and then only deploy the back end or full stack together but actually it's possible to also deploy a react vite app very easily actually to a vps so in this video i'll walk you through how to do that we're going to use coolify I've, and i'll use this example here this is the remote dev project from my course so people can uh, search for jobs here right so here we have a bunch of jobs that people can do we are doing data fetching here with react query and so we're going to see if that still works on the vps but for example we are fetching data here with use query and we will get the data here we have all these settings here and a bunch of other things in this app as well so we will see if like uh, bookmarking for example and we have the hash here in the URL as well. So if somebody actually uses the native browser bookmark or just refreshes, they will still see the same job item. So a bunch of interesting features like that. And we'll see if it still works in production on a VPS as well. So let's get into it. So before, before we deploy, I like to run a local build first because if there are a bunch of issues during the build, it's a bit easier to fix them quick before we actually go through the whole pipeline so you can see everything here looks good to me right so especially things like type issues right? it's kind of annoying to run into them when you deploy so it's just easier to quickly fix them here locally all right so now good to go so so now let's find a vps so we can deploy it so i'm going to use hostinger in this video they are also today's sponsor and one reason why i like using them so much is that they already have a coolify vps template out of the box so we don't even need to install anything ourselves manually on the vps it comes with coolify out of the box i think that's pretty cool makes it even easier and it also shows that they know what we're doing here we're not doing anything strange they are already familiar with the type of setup that we are going for so i think this is a major plus for hosting our now as of recording they actually have an amazing deal as well if we scroll down a little bit you can see that the prices here are really good and i'll go with the kvm2 plan but if you already anticipate that you're going to need a little bit more for example you want to run multiple apps or some other services as well you can do a lot with coolify it's not just one simple react vite app you can you can add way more you already anticipate something more than that then check out the more powerful plans here however i will just go with kvm2 here now if you go with a plan you can use my coupon code bytegrad all uppercase so here on the order page you can add that right here so in this case bytegrad all uppercase and with my coupon code yeah this the price the price that you get is just really, really good. I highly recommend you check out the link in the description and picking a plan to get started with a VPS. So we can add some settings here. And actually, Hostinger now also offers a daily auto backup. That's really nice as well. You can pick your server location. Now here, you can pick your template actually. So what you can search for here is Coolify. And they actually have a Coolify template out of the box here. It's, it's going to be Ubuntu here with Coolify pre-installed. So if we confirm that, and now if you pay, you will see your VPS with Coolify out of the box. So let me actually check out out here and show you the setup as well all right so after paying we can set up a password for the vps however we will actually not need this because we don't have to run any commands in the terminal uh, because coolify will already be there but maybe later at some point you will need it so so you don't want to forget the passwords all right so they offer some additional features and then it's going to set up our vps so we just have to wait a few minutes i'll get back to you when it's all right so after a few minutes we can actually go into our vps dashboard here and we have an ip address for the vps as well okay but we don't have to do much here because again we're going to use coolify we just have to click on the button here and we will go through a setup here on coolify so you can see now in my address bar that i'm actually on the vps that we got from hostinger this is the ip address it's running on Coolify is running here on port 8000. And the first time you go here, you will see an account setup wizard. So make sure you are the first one here because this is going to be the root user, right? So you want to be first here. So register here. All right. There is uh, some onboarding here. And then here we have an option for if we want to have our resources on this server that we just got from Hostinger, or we want to host them on a remote server right so a resource can be an, an app for example right so our react vite app is one resource but you may also have a database service for example or you have a next.js application so other applications right so we can decide for example to only have coolify on this local host on this server and then the apps on some other server right but in this case we're just going to go with everything on this one server so local host to organize everything there are projects so we could have for example three react vite apps in one 
project, right? So we have one project in this video and we're gonna have one resource. It's gonna be the React Vite application, okay? All right, so now we are here in the actual dashboard. Typically, you would start here with a new resource. So, so in this case, that's the React Vite app and it needs to grab the code from somewhere. So I like to use a private repository. So I'm gonna push to GitHub and then we can pull it on here. So that's what we're gonna do here. There are some other options as well. And again, if you have some other service like a Postgres database, we can do that here as well, or many of these other services that Coolify offers as well, okay? But, but we're gonna do it through a private GitHub repository. So I first need to push my code to GitHub. So let me add a new repository here. I will just call this remote dev Foolify VPS. I want it to be private and we will just create a repository. Okay, so let me just push to this repository, just paste all of that in one go. And now if I go back here and refresh, we can see our code here on GitHub, okay? So, all right, so now we can pull it onto our VPS and actually deploy it. So I'm gonna do it with private repository here. And this is done with a so-called GitHub application. So basically we're going to install a GitHub app, GitHub account, and we're going to give it access to some repositories on my account. So then Coolify is able to pull that code onto the VPS. Okay, so we do need to add that GitHub application here. I'm just gonna go to default settings. And also one of the benefits is that when you then repo, when you then push code again to the GitHub repo, it can automatically redeploy as well. So the latest changes are also reflected in production. That's why we have a webhook endpoint here, right? So we just need to register this as well. So we're gonna create a GitHub rep repo. We have it, but we still need to pick the repository. So let's also install it for the right repositories. You can do it for all of them, but I do like to be a little bit uh, selective here. So I'm just gonna pick that one repository. And all right, so now we should be good to go with this GitHub app. I'm just gonna press save here. And now if we try again to, uh, if we go to our project here, and now if we try to add another resource, right? So just, we don't have any right now. We're just gonna try again here. So we're gonna say a private repository, but now we have that GitHub app. So that's the GitHub app that we're gonna pick here and we can load the repositories that it has access to. All right, so here we have some configuration. You can actually also change it later but we can already pick some options here. So do we have a static site? So Coolify does have some instructions on deploying with the feed. So for example, they do recommend a build pack, Nix packs is, and we to enable that, is it a static site? And then also to let Coolify know where, when we run a build, where are the actual files? Well, they're in the dist folder, right? So we just ran a local build. So you can see there is actually a dist folder here with the actual build. You can see here, published directory has become I have slash dist here, right? Distribution. Let's actually try this. I'm gonna continue here. All right, so here we have some settings. So we can look at that in a second, but let's actually just try deploying. So we just click the button here and it will try to deploy. Now it's nice that we can also see logs here so we can see under the hood what it's doing. If the build fails, for example, uh, we have a little bit more information on what's going on there. So this is pretty fast. Typically we just have to wait a minute or so. All right, so at some point we can see it's finished there. And we can see running here, that's a good sign. So we want to get the actual URL. So by default, Coolify gives you a domain like this, like this. And we can just paste that in, let's see what we have. And here we go, here my React Vite application is running live on the internet on the VPS hosted by Hostinger. Let's see if it still works. So if I type in uh, TypeScript or TS, we are still fetching data. If I press on one of those, we are also fetching the data for that one. So all the data fetching here looks good. If I sort here, go through pagination, if I bookmark here and look here, all of that is still working. If I refresh here with the hash in the URL, that is also working. So all of this is still working now. If you were wondering, can I deploy Vite applications to a VPS? Yes, you can. And so here in the dashboard, you can also specify that it's a static site. We can even specify that it's a single page application. So we may want to enable this as well here you can set and then here you can also specify the published directory so in case you didn't get the settings right on the first try on the initial step you can still do that in this dashboard view as well and now the nice thing is when i make a change for example here in this uh, placeholder text i have let's say three dots right now if i make a change here locally maybe fixing a bug or something else if i just make a change here and now i uh, commit that right and then i just push again okay so now i pushed to GitHub, and now if I go to my Coolify dashboard here, if I go to deployments here, you can see it has already started deploying again. So it automatically redeploys if you make changes and you push to that. So you can see there's one deployment in progress. 
and in about 26 seconds it has finished again now if i refresh i have multiple dots here in production live on the vps right super easy to set up and it gets even better because let's say we do want to have a custom domain can we do that here with coolify as well Yes, actually, it's really easy as well. So I do have a domain here with Hostinger. Hostinger also offers domains. So if I go here, I have this domain here so I can just manage that. I can go to DNS here. And what I can do is I can just say uh, an A record, alias record for the root of the domain. It needs, it needs to point to the IP address of my VPS. So I can just copy that and just paste it right here. I will just remove this just bare ip i will add this as a record it will go to our vps but coolify still needs to know about it as well because we could have multiple applications right so it needs to know there's an incoming request for this domain right bitegradcourses.com it needs to link that here with our react feed application and not some other application that we may have so if we go here i can say uh, https bitegradcourses.com i do need to press enter here now i have uh, I, I get this toast here, but now I do need to redeploy, right? So I just click on redeploy here. It's gonna add another deployment here. You can see this is the third one and I can monitor here with the debug logs. All right, so that looks good. Now, if we, uh, oh, actually, if we just copy this, and try going there. This is my React Vite application on a VPS with a custom domain with automatic redeployment using HTTPS. Right, all of that is possible. Right, and here in the hosting and dashboard, we can still manage our VPS. So we, has, we still have all of those options for our VPS as well, in case you do need to use that. Things related to our applications, we can stay inside the Coolify dashboard. So actually a great stack, I think. Make sure to check out the link in the description. Hope this helps you out. And I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.